Full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Try doing a soft reset. Often, a soft reset is all that is needed to solve issues on a Samsung TV. A soft reset does not erase any data. To soft reset a Samsung TV, you simply need to turn the TV off, then remove the plug from the wall outlet and wait for 60 seconds, then put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Format the hard drive properly. SUHD and QLED Samsung TV models recognize NTFS, FAT, and XFAT file systems, while full HD models recognize NTFS, RID only, FAT16, and FAT32 file systems. So, you need to format your hard drive to these file systems to get your TV to read them. You need a computer to perform the following steps. Download a partition manager, such as the Minitool Partition Wizard. Connect the hard drive to your PC. Launch the partition manager. Click the hard drive's partition. You can either choose the proper file system then click Apply or copy the file to your hard drive so it automatically gets saved in a proper format. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults and your data will be erased. To do this, do the following. Turn on the TV and press the home button on the remote. Go to settings, then click general, then click reset. You must then enter a four digit pin number, which is 0000 by default then click yes to reset the TV. The TV will then turn off once it has finished resetting. You can now turn the TV back on and set it up again. Connect the hard drive directly. Instead of using a USB extension cord, connect the external hard drive to your Samsung TV directly via the USB port. Make sure the hard drive isn't too full. If the number of folders and files is more than the maximum limit, Delete some of them and try connecting the hard drive again. Completely erase the hard drive. If the list of folders or files on the drive contains one or more corrupted or unplayable files, your best bet is to format the entire hard drive, remove everything in it, then add another file and connect it again. If you are still having issues, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post linked in the description updated with any new fixes that emerge.